Hi, this is Andy Traub, creator of Master Evernote. This is a video to show you how you can take an, a web-based view of something and move it into your Evernote and then organize it in such a way that really makes it easy to move around the resource that was before trapped in your, your browser or even trapped inside a PDF. So I'm going to show you this is a state of the blogging industry report created by ConvertKit in early 2017. And as you can see here, this has 10 parts, introduction, the people, motivation, the topics, so on and so forth, all the way down to conclusion. Now you can click download the report here and it will download, it will actually send you a link in an email and then open up and you can download the PDF. You can take that PDF and put it in Evernote. But I want to show you a different way of rebuilding this using the Evernote Web Clipper, which may actually be more useful than just downloading the PDF. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, I'm just going to take the, actually the first three notes here, excuse me, the first three uh, sections here and create three notes inside of Evernote. And then we're going to create a table of contents note that will show you all three of the notes that we created and connect them back and forth. So let me show you how to do that. First, you have to have the Evernote Web Clipper installed, and that's going to be this little elephant right here. And when we click on that, we're on the introduction, so we're going to click on that, and it's going to give us the option for simplified article, and that's what we want. We want the simplified article view. So when I scroll over these, you can see my uh, cursor changed from an arrow to I can actually highlight things. So I can highlight just like that. And then I can go over here and I can add a tag. I'm going to call this um, research. And that's one of my tags. And then convert kit. And then email marketing. Now I'm only going to do that to one of my notes and I'll duplicate it later on. I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So the first note you can see here we're creating. Uh, we'll make sure we call this introduction. So we changed the title of the note. We have a simplified article view and it's going to be saved in our inbox. That's the notebook. And then we've got these three tags. Again, I'm only going to add those tags to this first one. And then I've done some highlighting. If you click save in just a few seconds, really, uh, depending on your, your, your internet connection speed, this will be in your Evernote. But what we're going to do is go ahead and click on the people, which is the first section here. And then we're going to go ahead and do the web clipper on that one as well. We're going to choose simplified article. I'm just going to go ahead and change the title here to the people. Let's do uh, zero one. Now we'll just do the people. That's fine. Simplified article. And we're not going to worry about any tags. I have newsletter as a tag by default. I'm going to take that off. And then we'll just you know highlight something so we can see what that looks like. And then hit save. So we have our second. And then we'll do the third here, the motivation. And we'll go ahead and do our web clipper here. It will change it to a simplified article view. We'll change it title here to, I forgot the name of this. Oh, motivation. Motivation. All right, we're going to change that. And then we're going to go ahead and save. All right, so we have taken introduction, the people, motivation. Let's just do the topic too while we're there. Might look a little bit better. We're going to click clip to Evernote and go through our normal thing here. Topic, some flood article. Go ahead and highlight something just to show what that looks like. Get rid of that tag and hit save. So we have four things that we, four new notes we have created. Now I'm going to go over to my Evernote. I'm going to go ahead and to all notes here and reload <clears throat> and this should add four notes here it's taking a long time to sync so i'm going to assume it's going to add all of those yep okay it did state of the blogging All right, so here it is, blogging report, blogging report, state of the blogging report. So let's see, we've got introduction, the people, motivation, and topic. All right, 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on the first one and then hit shift and click on the last one. And what we're going to do first is make sure all these notes are tagged the same way. So we're going to do email marketing, then we're going to do convert kit, and then research. That will apply those three tags to all of our notes. All right, save us some time there. And then we're going to go ahead and create a table, create a table of contents note. And now we have one note, which is the table of contents for all of our other uh, links. So we can say uh, convert kit 2017 report, and then table of contents. And this one note links to these four other notes. I could have gone through, but basically what we did is we rebuilt their report inside of our Evernote. So let me just show you what this looks like. Convert kit research 2017 table of contents. So if I go here, you can see I've pulled all that text right there. Now the kind of super cool hack is that if we go back here to this, this is an individual note, right? So I'm going to go up here to note and then copy note link. So now we have a link to this note that we're going to put in all four of these other notes. So watch this. All right, we're going to do that. Now we can click on this and go back to our table of contents. Click on the second one, put a link in there. Whoops, a little too big. There we go. And we'll do that to the third one. And we'll go to the fourth one. And there we go. Now something you could have done is you could have changed the title to actually be a number like 00, zero and then 01, 02, 03, and then make sure that when you clip them or you take them from the web to your Evernote, you've got them in the right order. And then you could organize them you know, by title right here. You could sort them by title so you make sure that actually the numbered list is in the correct order. We didn't do that, but you'd have to rename each one of the um, notes that you pulled from. Uh, the web. So that's a way for you to take a resource that's on the web and use it in a research, you know, highlight specific things, pull it over your Evernote, and then build a table of contents note using note links and table of contents. Hopefully that's helpful to you. If you have any more questions about Evernote, just jump over to takepermission.com. There's a free five video series uh, course that you can take to learn more about Evernote there. My name is Andy Traub. Thanks.